Hi guys, I'm Nate from Good Mayhem Racing. This is nitrogen, and I'm going to charge my shocks with it. This looks intimidating, but it's really not that bad. Nitrogen is used at dealerships to air tires these days. There's less moisture in it. You can get better fuel economy, in theory. You can also use it to pressurize shock absorbers, air shocks, your hydro bump stops, uh-huh, that's what I actually used it for originally, for these guys right here. See that beautiful, beautiful hydro bump? In all of its glory. Yeah, that's a giant hydro. But guess what? You need nitrogen to purge it. So, this is a high flow nitrogen regulator. This is the most expensive thing out of this entire contraption. This is just a rental, in this case, air gas. It's like around a dollar a day for the rental, and then you pay for the gas itself. So maybe around 16 to $20 worth of gas in this little 20 pound bottle, 20 cubic foot, I should say, sorry. So let's see how much air is in the bottle. First, grab an air hose. Nothing fancy, but you do need a high pressure air hose, something that can take around 400 PSI. And this one is 300 PSI. 300 PSI is fine for what I do. I'm around a 200 PSI kind of guy anyways. So first off, open the valve. And it's not very cool to see the stuff here. You're just gonna see the dowels change. But once you see the whole line in view, it actually kicks. Check this out. Okay. That was cool. And right now it is set on 250, maybe 260 PSI. So we're going to dial it down. And you really can't see the change right now <coughs> until you bleed air out from your hose. There are fancier solutions, much more expensive, but a regular air chuck does great. Plus you need to purge the line anyway, so. Okay. We just purged the line. And now you can see it is around 140 PSI. Now we're gonna turn it back up. Hear that? Sounds spooky. You're physically adding mass in the line, adding pressure. So you can always go slower than faster here. Make sure the pressure comes up good. Nice, okay, we are good. This line is at pressure now. That is the Schrader valve, right there. And that, is what holds the pressure in the shock. However, the little tiny nipple that you're used to seeing, uh, it's very much the same kind of Schrader valve that you see in your tires. Even though that little nipple holds pressure, the primary pressure boundary is this, your cap. This is what's holding the high pressure in. That would continuously leak if you didn't have it. So make sure to always run your cap on your shocks. Step one, jack the truck off the ground so where you have full extension. You always wanna charge your shocks at full extension. If you do them shorter than that, then they're not nearly as charged as they should be. Because again, you're trying to add nitrogen. 
you're trying to add a gas and that gas has mass. So when you're using a air chuck like this, you wanna hold it down until you hear the pressure or sizzle no more. At that point, it's charged. Okay. I hear it no more. That's it, that one's done. Now, find the Schrader valve you just lost. Great. What did I do with it? There it is. Tighten that down. Okay. That shock has been topped off. Wunderbar. Let's get ready for the next side. Oh, and maintain your hydraulic jacks. Guess what I found today. Turd! It's an oil leak. Okay. Again, get your shocks off the ground. Your shocks will be standing and your tires off the ground. There you go. Make sure you can find the trader valve. Okay, I found it. I'm gonna grab my hose. Again, it's just an air chuck. There are fancier solutions that are more civilized, but it, this is definitely effective. Engine. Okay. Now, charge it with nitrogen. Okay. Schrader valve is on. Tighten down. Okay. Now we let it come back down. Yay. I forgot to do that earlier, so whenever you get the shocks extended, do it then. So that is how you charge nitrogen in your shock absorbers with a cool little hose a rental bottle, and a purge high flow regulator. To give you some brand reference, this is a turbo torch, model number DP250-800-580. Wonderful little regulator, recommend it. I bought it, and same with the rental. And now that my shocks are fully charged, once I do a test drive, I'm gonna return this, and I'm keeping that. So, don't forget to depressurize your regulator at the end of the day. This isn't a propane setup where you can just leave it in indefinitely. If you're gonna store it, It will be very, very offensive if you forget to let all 200 PSI out. And there we go. That's it. So, I'm Nate from Good Mayhem Racing. I will see you on the desert, if not my garage. And good luck using nitrogen.